Hi, this is Brian Smith. Today is Thursday, March 5th, and today is video number 10 in my daily Linux video series. Today we're going to talk all about the set GID um, permission that can be set on files and directories. So the first thing um, I want to cover is how you know if you have this set. If you do an ls minus L and you see a file or directory that has an S here on the group portion of the uh, permissions instead of an X, that means you have the set GID bit set on that file or directory. Now note, if you see an S up here in the owner portion, that's the set UID, which is something totally different that we'll cover another day. So if you see an S here in the middle um, group permission part of the uh, permissions here, instead of, an, uh, instead of an X, you have an S, that means you have the set GID bit set. Now, what that means is two different things depending on if it's a file or directory that it's set on. And, and we'll start with files. So if you have the set GID bit set on a file, what that will do is if the file is an executable file, when you execute it, it'll take on the group owner, um, group owner's permissions when the, when the file is executed. Let's say for example, we have a, uh, a file with a set GID bit set. Let's say the owner is root and the group is bin. So when, if this is an executable and we execute it, it's gonna run with the group permissions of bin because we had that set GID bit set. Now, if it's a directory, it's something totally different. So let's change this example and say, um, let's put a D in front of here in our example to say that this is a directory. What this is gonna do is cause any new files or directories that are placed in this directory to inherit the group owner. So if I have a directory set up like this and I create a new file in there, the file is gonna have the bin um, group owner. If I create a new directory in there, same thing, it's gonna have the bin group owner, and the new directory is also gonna automatically have the uh, set GID bit set as well um, when you create that in there. Now this only applies to new files and directories you, you put in the uh, directory. So if you have a, an existing directory that has a bunch of stuff in it, and you change it to have the set GID bit, it's not gonna go through and change what's already there. It only applies to the new content that's placed in there. So if you wanted to uh, change, um, change what's already in there, you'd have to do that manually with a chmod command. But the set GID bit's only gonna apply to the new stuff that you put in there. Um, where this can be helpful is if you have a, uh, a directory where people need to share things but they're all in different groups and stuff. It can help simplify where anything that's placed in there um, automatically inherits that same group. But you need to be aware of how it works and any security consequences that might follow because of that. So you, you really need to understand that. Another interesting note um, about how it works with the directories. Let's say in our example, the, the group is bin. Let's say you have a user who's not in the group bin, but they have permissions to write to the directory because everyone is granted access. If that user goes into the directory and creates a file or directory, it'll still inherit the, the bin group even though that user themselves isn't a member of the bin group. So you just need to kind of be aware of, of how it all works um, and take all that into consideration before you set this up. Now if you want to, if you do want to use it and set it on a directory or file, um, the easiest way to do it is do a chmod g plus s and then um, the directory or file you want to set it on, and that'll that'll set it. And you can do an ls minus l, and then verify you see the s here instead of the x for the group part of it. So that's everything. Um, the, the, the basically the basics of set GIDs on files and directories. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll have another video for you tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.